this was my best time in Namibia and I really don't want it to end but anything that has a beginning has an end but this ending is something that I really don't want but you know what it's time to go back home I'm going back home just because I miss my wife that's it I was in Namibia for 10 good days and believe me it was the best time of my life even though I was going through a lot I think I need to come in here sit in here and speak to you guys about the struggles that I faced in 2022 I know most of you are expecting videos from me every single day but majority of you don't know what happens behind the scene I think I'm the strongest guy in the whole world but hey I won't let this prevent me from sharing beautiful moment with you all I mean, if you haven't been to Namibia, what are you waiting for? If you have never booked a ticket to visit Namibia, what are you waiting for? Listen. I went to the northern part of Namibia and it was amazing and I would love to do this over and over again. I met the nicest people in Namibia, especially Taimi. If you have a YouTube channel, please, the link is in the description. Go subscribe and support Taimi. I mean, the Namibian Tourism Board showed me exceptional lab. Gondwana Lodges, oh my goodness. I slept in all the lodges, almost all the lodges of Gondwana, no, just six or seven of them. And it was an incredible experience that I would love to do this over and over again. But listen, I know you all are expecting the videos from Namibia. Hold on, we're working on it. But I feel like sharing this video with you before anything else. You know, Namibia is amazing. I'm having a good time. But all the places that they take me, it's not a place for one. It's always a place for two. And the more you sleep in places like this, the more you feel more depressed because you'll be like, nah. Nah. nah so yeah come along with me i'm gonna travel again one more time without a passport and i hope that i make it to ghana so when i get to ghana you guys you know we're all gonna have fun together so come along with me i've got giovanni right here giovanni say hello hello everyone hello <laughs> <laughs> big uncle oh so our car is just right here okay that's cool our car is parked right there. They came to pick me up. So, yeah, let's go to Ghana together. We are about to drive to Vinduk, which is four hours away. And so, we're gonna move from here straight to the airport. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can see them. These are Oryx, the national animal of Namibia. They are all over the national park. Oh my God, Baba Oryx. <laughs> we finally in Vinduk. It was a very interesting trip. He nearly got lost. <laughs> we drove that road till we got here. But I have like um two hours more to go and uh, I have some few people that I really would love to say hello to before I head to the airport. I can't leave Namibia without saying hello to Dr. Ndume because I'm more like his adoptive son. When you go to Namibia, that is the only Namibian mom that I have. And anytime time she calls me, my son, I feel so happy in my heart. Dr. Ndume has done a lot for me that I cannot even explain on camera. Dr. Ndume and I met the last time I went to Namibia and listen, she is a magician. When I say a magician, an eye magician, I mean she's touching a lot of lives in Namibia that I think she needs to be celebrated. I think Nelson Mandela said that it doesn't matter how many awards you get or how much money you have but how many people's life have you changed? And that no money in this world can pay for the happiness of someone who was blind. And when you take off that iPad and they tell you, doctor, oh my child, I can see. That is very, very gratifying. And that's why we keep on going back all the time. My name is uh, Helen Andume. I was born in Sume. 
When I met her the first time, yeah, it was amazing. When I came back to Ghana, we still kept on communicating until my own mom got blind. When my own mom got blind, Dr. Ndume came through for me. I wanted to fly my mom to Namibia and Dr. Ndume said, no, I'm not gonna allow you to come to Namibia because I have a friend in Ghana who can actually work on your mom's eye. Glory be to God, my mom can see again just because I got to know Dr. Ndume. I'm sorry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're a student? Yeah. And what course are you studying? That's nursing. Nursing? Yeah. Wow. You guys are Africans, right? We're all Africans, We're eh? all Africans. Yes. So if you have a message for Africans, <coughs> what would that message be? <laughs> Love home. Mm, okay. Love Stay home. Stay shining. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you were beautiful black kings and queens. You are doing wow. great. We're amazing. Black people, we are amazing. Africans, we are amazing. <laughs> nice to meet you all. I'm going to see Dr. Ndume, and oh. it's a pleasure meeting you all. Yeah? Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, my goodness. I, I was on my way to go see Dr. Ndume, and then they were looking at me like, are you the YouTuber? What am I? I'm like, yeah. So I had to let them say something since it's a vlog. So come along. Let's go meet Dr. Ndume. I got in there. Someone recognized me. She was so excited to go call Dr. Ndume from the theater room just to come and see me. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you sure? I'm the one. What the mic? What the mic? Oh, what the mic? It's true, but you can have never. Hey, I see you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Seems a lot of people really consume the content, man. Wow. For her to be able to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you, my son? Oh, ah, how is it? Good. It's nice to see you. It's nice yeah. to see you. Oh, you you yeah. made it so to come to see me. That yeah. is so kind. How are you, my sweetheart? How are you? Oh, mine. <laughs> YouTube channel. Oh, no, YouTube channel? No. Okay, okay. What is your name? What is my in Bentuk Namibia, the Dubai of Africa, Central Hospital. She's actually the first person who works. Are you the one? That's me, brother. To be theatre. And I'm like one of the sketchy chickens we're going on on YouTube. Yeah. Oh my God. I believe you guys. Thank you. I would say this is one of the scariest moments in my entire life because this was actually my first time of entering a theater. Uh, I mean, I've never been in a theater before. This is the first time. It's going to be crazy. The Tendume is about to do a surgery and I've been invited unexpectedly. <laughs> I don't even know if I should tell you guys that I'm even scared of pregnant women. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna react the day my wife becomes pregnant. Because anytime you see a pregnant woman passing, what am I will be the other side. I, I hate blood so much. I, I'm speaking straight from the heart, yeah? To the extent that when I was offered to study science, I chose that, hey, you know what? I won't do biology. I replaced my biology with the technical skills. That's why I had to go with the part of becoming an engineer instead of becoming a doctor because I don't have the heart for it. Listen, I've never killed a chicken before in my entire life. I've never killed a goat in my entire life. Anytime I see animal being slaughtered, I won't eat it. That is how much I hate anything that has to do with blood. But I'm a big fan of meat, yeah. That one, you can't take that one away from me, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. Trust what we're doing. Yeah, I told yeah. you I'm gonna come. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. trust in your man. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have to tell your man what your man does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is the whole microscope. Because the eye is so slow, we need big magnification. Oh. Because the eye is so small, you need big magnification. And that's what it does. Oh. Mm -hmm. But that's look, is it, is, it, is it only Namibians you treat? Or you can treat anyone else? Because a lot of people really need no, help. I, you know. the, uh, no, I treat anyone. So they can fly in here to come and see you? No problem. If, if, for example, from Ghana, if I still make and do, do it, it, why pay so, so much money? money to come here. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I guess if you're living in the southern Africa and then... Yeah. That's Anyone okay. Thing. Yeah, but from Ghana, I see him. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. I felt so proud seeing Dr. Ndome doing what she does best. And she, she's so good at what she does that she was even explaining things to me at the same time doing the surgery. Oh my goodness. And she asked me to look through the microscope. You can, um, what they're coming, come and stand here. Um, come and stand here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. You can shine and look into the microscope. Okay. Thank you so much. So can you can you adjust it to your eyes? Yeah. I can see. Yeah, just just pull like that. And what I saw. And this is going to be the last time anyone will invite me to a theater that I'm going to accept. I'm not entering a theater anytime soon. And this is the suture, this is the thread I used to, to tie. Look, look here. It, uh, look how thin it is. Thinner than the hair. It was an incredible feeling when the woman wakes up and starts saying that she can see again. God bless you, Dr. Ndome, for what you're doing for Africa. God bless you for what you're doing for Namibia. I think the entire Namibian population is so proud of you. And listen, I am more proud to be your adoptive son. And I just want to tell you, I love you so much. Keep adding value to the continent. So yeah, um, we are out of Dr. Ndume's office. We're heading to the airport. I think we are almost late, man. Febronia, <laughs> you guys have seen her again, eh? Country manager. Country manager. I couldn't rush to the airport without saying hello to Febronia, our country manager in Namibia. If I say country manager, the last time we came in here, she was the one who facilitated everything that we did in this beautiful country, driving us around the entire time that we're in Namibia. Namibia is looking all clean and fresh. Wow.
laughing because an immigration officer just asked me how did you travel with TC and came back with TC? I mean a traveling certificate without visa, without anything. How did you do it? And I'm like, I have no idea. Probably when God when God calls you to do his work, he will always lead the way and you are gonna follow. And probably I know most of you will not understand, but if God is with you, yeah. Even immigration officers can show you love without knowing that they are showing you love. It is what it is, man. Um, I, I simply can't believe what I've done. Um, traveling without a passport for the first time. It was super crazy, but I did it. I did it. Ha! Look at you, man. <laughs> you see, I was even telling them that. I, he's the first person that I called to ask him, can I travel without a passport? What did he say? He said, no. <laughs> I did it. I said no. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So congratulations. Yes, All right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and I was recording. I didn't even know you were yeah, around. I, I, just, I just saw you. I was you. like, oh, that's him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So we just go back here, and um, I believe my wife is outside. So let me just. Oh, me say so much. I can't wait to just hug her and say, Hey, babe, I'm back home. The newlywed. <laughs> I'm the one. Uh, the, the, the what am I? Right. <laughs> you have to take a picture for my sister. <laughs> what am I? Yeah, what what am I? <laughs> so, one second. What happened? One second. Uh, Celebrate. Uh, don't leave. I will leave. I will leave. I will leave. I will leave. <laughs> Celebrate. Celebrate. Hey, Celebrate. You, you, you went for honeymoon? Yeah. <laughs> I went for honeymoon here no, in Africa. Crazy about it. Really? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. She's in the UK. All right. So, so US. US. Thank you. Uh, what do I? I'll be around here. Yeah. Come in. Where's my twin sister? You should come. Oh. 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 Oh, what, 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 what's what's her name? Say, say hello. I, I know she watch this video. <laughs> Holly, we bump into your friend. <laughs> At GH. Okay. See, the newlywed. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the newlywed. Not me. I'm more like two months old. <laughs> it's still fresh. It's still fresh. Eh? Are you from? Are you from? <laughs> Holly, this is for you. Oh. Okay, get well soon. Get well we love soon. you. Oh. We love you. Bless you. What's the name again? Halima. Halima. This is your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Aww. Get well soon and know that I love you so much. Aww. I mean, stay strong for us. Oh. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and be part of this awesome channel. I will see you all in the next one. More content from Namibia coming up. My name is Wadamaya, the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana.